Hi, my name is Pip and we are here today to talk about my deep and profound love for Normal People by Sally Rooney. This is the first book I have read in such a long time that I've actually liked and I feel like that has made me like it more because I have been in such a reading slump and have not enjoyed a fairly substantial number of the books I've read lately and I have been DNFing a lot. So the fact that I finished this book and that when I sat down to read it I could have sat there reading all day mm, is quite a change. <laughs> Before I really get into this book and what I thought about it you should know that this book includes uh, substantial topics of mental health, suicide, self-harm and abusive relationships both uh, in the family and in your domestic partnerships. You might have heard about this book because it was recently turned into a TV series which when everyone was in lockdown we all ravenously consumed. The story is based around Irish teenagers Marianne and Connell who go to the same school together and they're at the point of high school where they're finishing up and they're about to finish and graduate and go on to university. Marianne is quite wealthy, Connell is not, and Connell's mother works for Marianne's family, she's their house cleaner and that's kind of how uh, these two students have more interaction with each other outside of school. Because in school Marianne is quite unpopular and not at all interested in trying to play the game and get people to sort of see her perspective or try and be kinder to her and Connell is part of a more popular group but he is a very shy and quiet young man. But because Connell picks up his mother from Marianne's house after work they have these little interactions and that's kind of how their relationship starts to develop from there. Although they do hide that from the other students and try and keep it a secret at school as their relationship develops into something beyond casual acquaintances into them being lovers. Marianne has come from an abusive household and it is just her, her mum and her brother who are living there. Her brother is also quite abusive and threatening towards her and her mother really does nothing about it at all. Whereas Connell's mother was a teenager when she had him him, but she loves him and is very open with him and they have quite a lovely relationship to read about. So we do kind of have these two characters that are from opposite sides of the fence in many respects and they kind of meet in the middle and they just struggle to find a way to hold it together because they're so different and they communicate differently and they're affected very much by the things that have happened to them that they don't really necessarily understand when they look at the other person. From high school Marianne and Connell start an on and off relationship and they go off to university together and we watch them over the next subsequent years kind of coming in and out of each other's life, always unable to stay away from each other but really struggling to keep it together and this book is kind of a look at the dynamic of their relationship and at their mental health and everything that kind of goes into that and the way the chapters are set up are so that they're done as time allocations. So each chapter is a different time period like six days later, six hours later, six weeks later and that actually makes it quite interesting and also really easy to follow the timeline of their relationship which is a nice added bonus. We all have our shit that can make us self-destructive in relationships or in life. We all have things that can make us put our walls up or communicate really poorly and so I think that's why this book feels really like a realistic character study because they both have their shit and they're trying to sort it out and they're trying to sort it out together and they just they're young and they're not equipped with what they need to to really resolve those issues and they're also trying to deal with the realities of adulting and we all know adulting ain't easy. The main thing I loved about this book was that it felt like it was a really genuine exploration of relationships, particularly relationships of young people. Relationships as a teenager or someone in your early 20s can be extremely intense, they can be illogical, they can be very very passionate and filled with a lot of turmoil and they can be really difficult to uh, get them to work even when both parties really want them to work. And that is kind of the nature of Marianne and Connell's relationship. Both of them are drawn to each other, 
very intensely in their late teens as they're leaving high school and they kind of bounce in and out of each other's lives throughout their late teens and early 20s because there is such a passionate uh, relationship there but because their communication and their ability to function in a healthy relationship really hasn't developed and they haven't developed enough as individuals it is really complicated despite the fact that they really want to make it work and they want to be together. This book explores a lot of characters with varying degrees of mental health issues and varying kinds of mental health issues ranging from like profound deep depression to like moments more of self-doubt and self-esteem but it's linked really well and you can see how something and I'm trying not to spoil it but something that kind of starts out more appearing as shyness as um a, a lack of social bravado and maybe just some discomfort really becomes and goes through this flow and becomes a really profound depression for one of our primary characters. And sure you could accuse this book of being at times borderline melodramatic, particularly I found when Marianne goes to Sweden that the author started walking a fine line between it maybe being too much and being a fairly realistic portrayal of mental health but I still found that overall this book was really quite interesting and fascinating. But ultimately I thought it was well done and I think it was interesting to see that mental health aspect really explored and how that impacts on people's relationships and them going forward in life and how sometimes it can be so hidden beneath the surface that you don't know how someone is really feeling and sometimes when the truth comes out about where people are in their in their struggle with their mental health sometimes it can be quite a shock when you find out how someone is feeling because it can be something that is just not obvious from the outside and I think having the dual characters point of view in this book and exploring how they feel and what each of them was thinking within a certain conversation where they both for example communicated poorly with each other about their wants and needs and therefore the relationship exploded again. I think that was really interesting and quite realistic. I've heard people say that this book is more graphic than the TV series which has been quite popular and quite successful and I don't think that's really true. I've watched the TV series through twice now and I've read the book and I, I was actually surprised with how true to the to the book the TV series stays. It was almost to the point where I felt like I didn't get a lot more from the book than I did from the TV series. Usually I find if I read a book first or even after I've seen the movie or the TV series you get so much more from the actual book because obviously with a, a movie or a TV series they're usually trying to condense it to make it more interesting to the viewer. But I felt like they did a really good job with the TV show and there wasn't a lot that I felt like was added to the storyline of what I already knew by reading this book. That being said, I would have thought in that situation that I wouldn't have enjoyed reading the book because it would have been boring, but it wasn't. I think if this book had gone on any longer though it would have been a little bit rough, mostly due to their on and off relationship, but I think that they, the author Sally Rooney walked quite a fine line and walked it well and it's kind of perfectly timed as is. And it's quite an easy read, it's not that long, I read probably the first two thirds of this in one sitting and it is just that kind of book you can sink your teeth into and a kind of story where you can find things that resonate with you and you can just, you can just really get get into this book I find quite easily. It's just that kind of book that is an easy read, that is interesting, that doesn't make things too simplistic but also not so far-fetched that you just kind of like what the hell. There are times in the early part of the book where you want them to communicate better and you wish that they did 
but as the book goes on you learn more about Connell's shyness and his mental health and you also see more of Marianne's guarded nature and how that impacts the relationship as well as well as obviously the mental health of both of them and how that impacts and it makes so much sense and it's just I feel like you've seen it play out in relationships between your friends or maybe yourself and your partners in life but because you've only ever got your perspective you don't really have the insight to know what's going on on both sides you just kind of like hyper analyze you know for example what your partner says to you and you read into it what you think based on how you feel about yourself and so it was interesting and quite beautiful to have both sides and to hear that for example when the guy just says you know yeah it's not because you know of whatever you think about yourself it might actually be because he doesn't want to push you because he doesn't think that he's worth your attention or what you know whatever it might be but it was it was very interesting to have that dual perspective and to kind of I think it was just kind of beautiful to have that dual perspective and almost like lift the curtain and see the other side of that conversation instead of whatever you think is happening in that conversation and it does make me look back at conversations I've had with uh, men I've had relationships with and go huh I wonder how much of that was me putting my my stuff on top of that and wasn't actually me understanding their perspective or listening to what they were saying and also how much was them not wanting to say whatever it was or me not wanting to say whatever it was because we each had our walls up or guards up. So this book just makes you think a little bit and reflect on your own relationships and the ones that you've seen around you and kind of go, huh, yeah. Normal People is an easy read about flawed and imperfect characters who can be really difficult at times and yet you still get pulled into their relationship without it being over the top and unrealistically dramatic. How these two just keep cycling back around to each other and how they're impacted by the social constructs and expectations of them I think is a fascinating thing to really look at from dual perspectives and is something that we've all seen in life and so I think this is a really great book for anyone who enjoys a character driven book it's a great book for anyone who enjoys um, a realistic romance type storyline and honestly I just really enjoyed this book I would give it a strong four four and a half stars out of five and I would totally read this book again and it's not often that I say that I hope you've enjoyed this book review if you have don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this you can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Pip Coombs and you can check out my YA books The Hunted and A Night Rises which are the first two books in the Phoenix series anywhere where books are sold and they're available in ebook format and paperback Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.